Alright, welcome everybody. It's KB here and uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get Windows 11 ISO file officially. So as of now there are only Windows 11 dev and beta so there is no stable final build so that's all we got so that's what we are going to download today beta or dev channel so whenever there will be a final stable build of windows 11 then i will also make a video about that too so now let's get into how to get windows 11 iso file officially so open your favorite browser and after that go to this link I will put link in the description don't worry about it so once you load this page you will be asked to sign in with Microsoft account because as of now uh, Windows 11 ISO files are only available to Windows insiders okay so you need to sign in with your Microsoft account to download the Windows 11 ISO file so once you sign in so you can see at the right top Mr. KB, that's me, I signed in. So once you're here, uh, if you like to read all the instructions and all that, uh, go ahead and read. But if you don't, then just keep scrolling until you see select edition option here. So here, click on it. And here we can see we can download Windows Insider Dev Channel and Windows Insider Beta Channel. And there is actually Windows 10 Insider Preview Build download links too. But uh, since we are going to download the Windows 11, so let's just talk about Windows 11. So there are two options, actually more than two options. Uh, it is actually uh, addition. So to download the Windows 11, just focus on top two options, Dev Channel and beta channel that's it okay and here you may get confused which one should i get dev or beta so let me tell you as of now dev and beta channels are getting same bills and they are both stable there is no problem with any of the channels so if you really want to use the windows 11 I would suggest you to download the beta channel because beta channel is more stable than the dev channel and soon dev channel will start to get rough updates which means it might get unstable uh, updates so it may cause some issues and all that so it's best to use beta channel if you really want to use windows 11 right now but if it's for test purposes you want to use windows 11 and you want to get the latest update faster then you can use dev channel but uh, if you really want to use the windows 11 for daily use i would suggest you to use beta channel so that's that now everything is clear now you decide which one you want to use so as of now i'm using the dev channel windows 11 on my main pc uh, but in coming months i might switch to the beta channel if uh, dev channel gets really unstable so that's that uh, just a little info for you guys yes i'm using a windows 11 on my main pc and it's a dev channel soon i might switch to the beta channel so it's best to use the beta so choose whichever uh, channel you want to choose just select that let's say you want to download the beta channel confirm and after that you need to choose the language uh, english obviously confirm and after that you will see a windows 11 download link it will only be 64 bit so if you are looking for a windows 11 32 bit nah there is no 32 bit version of windows 11 there is only 64 bit so that's that <laughs> so now just click on 64 bit download just click on it and it will start downloading the file you can see here so it's around actually more than 5 gigabyte 5.1 gigabyte and uh, using this iso file you can clean install windows 11 you can do whatever you want all right 
and uh, I will also make a video on how to clean install Windows 11 and how to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 using ISO file. So once you download the ISO file, uh, you probably need to make a bootable USB drive. So good news is that I have made a video on it. Yes. So this is the video. I will put link in the description. You can go there and learn how to make a Windows 11 bootable USB drive. The best method. And just for quick info, Ventoy is the best bootable USB maker. And uh, yeah, that's all I want to say. It's really easy to use. Copy and paste the ISO file into your USB and boot it, delete, or add another ISO. It's really good. So that's it. Just watch the video that I made and you will understand how to use the Ventoy to make a Windows 11 bootable USB drive. And yeah, I will put link in the description for the uh, this website. You can go there and download the Windows 11 ISO file officially. And uh, also I will put link in the description for the uh, how to make Windows 11 bootable USB drive. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next tutorial.